Hey everybody, so today I'll be going out. I'm actually running late, so I need to be heading out very soon. But with that, I have a doctor's appointment, and I also want to go to Bryant Park. And I'll be spending much of my time today in uh, Manhattan, uh, Times Square area. And I may go down to the lower part of Manhattan. There's a, uh, I call it, it's not a beach, but I call it like there's like a water front that I sometimes will go to um, so we will see what happens today I may go down there I may not but we will see so let's head on out eh. transferring to another train to get to Manhattan. But once I get off the train, I actually probably will not be recording. Who knows? Because I need to be rushing to get over there. Who knows? Hey y'all, so I'm actually at the place I need to be. So I'm gonna go head on and take care of business and then I'm gonna head on to Times Square after this. I definitely wanna go to Times Square. For what, I don't know, but I just wanna go. I enjoy when I go down there. And I wanna bring you all along with me when I go. So I'll be seeing you all, which is probably seconds from here, but yeah. <sighs> so everything is looking fine and dandy and then I'm really hungry to be honest and at the same time I'm on a budget <laughs> but I have to contemplate should I wait until I go home to eat or do I need to go out and purchase something to eat I do not know what does come to mind is going to 7-eleven and getting something but for a lot of y'all that do not know I'm actually sensitive right now currently to wheat products can't really eat anything that has wheat in it and that also includes pasta. Everything is everything that I like and this got wheat in it. And I had to be careful. In my last video, I sat down and actually ate a chicken sandwich from Wendy's. And I completely forgot that. And that's what we eating bread. I paid the consequences. It took me like four to, like four days for me to oh my god. I couldn't get no sleep, I couldn't rest, I was fatigued. It was like a phase and I finally came out of it and I was exhausted. Find someone, but uh, yeah. She put in my hat. <laughs> Which ain't her hat. <laughs> See, you know you're gonna be a part of the vlog today. Let's pop bloggers, pagos. <laughs> 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 it's true. It's true. You speak of the truth. Okay. But they're worth it though. They're well. worth it. You better put that depends, in the video. Depends on the girl. Aw, and the person. <laughs> the person. Right, right. right, right. Okay, I'm gone, y'all. Have a good day, okay? Oh, thank you. Huh? No, that show is white. Right. That show is Oh, yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Have a good day. Me too. So I actually just left for my doctor's appointment and everything's good and fine and dandy and now I wanted I came back into the station so I can see what they got in Krispy Kreme donuts but I'm hungry I know I'm not supposed to be eating it but I just want to look at the donuts anyway so <sighs> so I asked them if they do gluten-free donuts they don't do gluten-free donuts and it's one of those things that if I decide to have a donut, 
I can't eat no bread for days, for days at a time. And so, <sighs> it's best to skip it. I know I'm being hard headed, but this is one of those things that I'm hungry and I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat. Let me head on down to uh, 42nd Street. <laughs> so, right now I'm actually headed to Times Square, which is 42nd Street. If I'm wrong, forgive me, but it's 42nd Street from what I remember. And it looks like it's actually about to rain. Now, I do need to charge my phone. I do need to get something to eat. And then from there, I would like to actually go to Bryant Park to play some ping pong. And then I would like to head to the pier that I usually go to just to relax. just came out of Starbucks and whew, man, it does look like it's going to rain and if it does I might just go home early hey so I'm at Bryant Park and it looked like it's going to start raining because I feel a few drizzles here and there I don't know if I'll be able to get a game in for a ping pong as y'all can see So it looks like because there's not a lot of people out, um, I really can't play. I'm gonna look around this park a bit. I see something called the Raised and Rooted Nugget Orchard. Hello. So it looks like they had an event earlier today. And for what I was told, they actually had real nuggets. <laughs> so that's funny and interesting. What I'm gonna do is I might go try and find something to eat. I've been thinking about waiting to go home because I got food, I got chicken I need to put in the oven. Um, I could eat at home. Everybody's just out here relaxing. I'm actually gonna walk down a bit. It is starting to drizzle, but I still may go out to the pier. I still may, I still may make that my last stop. So I'm just thinking, and I'm gonna just head on, way, on my way down there. And if it just rains, then I'm gonna just get on the train and head back home. I was walking through here, and I see they got like a large pumpkin patch of the sorts. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all. I've never seen green like grayish pumpkin. It's like a greenish gray. Never seen a pumpkin look like this. This is the inside of the store. Cool. I'm not gonna lie, I do want to get a pumpkin so I can make some pumpkin pie. I plan on making some sweet potato pie. And I've been thinking about sweet potato pie for the longest time because I make it. But I've, I've also been thinking about can I even eat it? The truth is, I don't know. It's a risk. And to be honest, if you don't know, you shouldn't be eating it. You should be avoiding it. But <laughs> so as I'm making my way to this pier, I ran across a dog store, pet store, and so I just want to show you all.
<sighs> I know it may sound crazy, but I tell people all the time I like animals more than people. Most of the times. Animals are simple, unproblematic creatures. All they want is love. And, you know, they, they, they tend to be our companions in the long run if you treat them well. And if you treat them well, they'll treat you well. For those who may know or don't know, I actually feed a ton of pigeons. The pigeons wait for me every single morning to get food and they also tend to know what time. Cause like if I go anywhere around that time, they will not be there. And if I'm up around a certain time and it's time for their feeding, they'll know. Pigeons are very smart intelligent creatures and they knew who I am and it's gotten to the point with them that they're not, they not so much afraid of my hand when I go to put my hand out they're not afraid to walk close to it so you know I am working through some things on a mental level and it's just nice that I can have what I like to call Company. I like to call it friends. Uh, I'm grateful and appreciative of having beings, I'm not calling them animals, but beings that actually um, keep me company. It, it gives me something to look forward to um, in, in the morning or in the day. I look forward to feeding them because I enjoy feeding them. And they enjoy it too, I guess. <laughs> so I'm at the pier, and I'm gonna show y'all the view. I believe I just need to be near some water. Sometimes we need to be by element that really soothes us, calms us, and I do pick up that there's a lot of moisture in the air. I just sense that not so much there about being the moisture in the air, but the water is creating like this electromagnetic atmosphere, a charge atmosphere. The word charge came to my mind, but it's creating a charge in the air and it brings peace. And maybe this is where I need to be at, at least today. Maybe this was a soul adventure. I definitely want to show you all around the Hudson River. It does look like the sun is setting or beginning to set. So I'm gonna make my way to the end over there and get more of a view. I'm gonna be honest. When I see something like that, I want to get on it and just ride it out. I don't know why. I know the sun is casting a shadow over me. I spent the whole day out. I don't know why it just seems like today was intense. And I believe the day appeared to be tense because I was mostly in my head today. When we have a tendency to be in our head, things are usually 10 times as worse. <laughs> so I was in my head mostly today and I knew I wanted to be by some water. I'll be honest, I'm out here. My sensitivity is on high and I'm feeling the peacefulness of the air. It's the water in the air. It's the charge in the air. I can't explain it. It's like a mist almost, but it's not a mist. It's, it's the sense of, it's like another place. So, So y'all, I'm done for the day. I'm actually gonna be on my way back home. I'm about to head home, relax, get something to eat because I haven't really ate all day. In a way, you can say today was like a, a fast. It sense it feels like that life is the border me. Uh, and I do feel like I'm looking forward into some positive things. Even if I can't see it, I do sense it, I feel it. And if I am not able to do that, I will create it. I will create that way. So, with that, yes.
loss, I'm not a victim. So with that, I will head home and enjoy the rest of my day. I hope y'all have a good day.